This is the legacy of Mike Tyson, possessed with one of the most devastating knockout punches in the history of the sport. This incredible specimen of boxing talent has, in a few short years, risen from the daily struggle for survival to the elite class of the world's greatest champions. He is a superstar of the 80s whose records are at the top of the charts. These are Mike Tyson's greatest hits. Hello, I'm Mike Tyson. Those of you who followed my boxing career know that I've accomplished a lot in a short period of time. It happened way back in 1980 when I first met Custom Auto, the world famous trainer and manager. After training such great champions as Floyd Patterson and Jose Torres, Custom Auto opened a small gym above a police station in upstate New York, leaving the world of big time boxing behind. Until he met a 13-year-old delinquent from Brooklyn, brought to him from a nearby penal institution. Cus knew if he would dig deep enough with this troubled youth, he would uncover a jewel. Back and forth like that. Okay. I'm not a creator. What I do is discover and uncover. My job is to take the spark and fan it. When it starts to become a little flame, I feed it. And I feed the fire until it becomes a roaring blade. And then when it comes to roaring blaze, I pour huge logs on And then you really got a fire going. He had taught many boys the sweet science, sharing his large home in Catskill with them. But one boy in particular stood out not only in the ring, but in Cuss's heart. When I was 14, Cuss used to tell me about all this. We would talk about the old fighters or something, and then we would go to another hour, we'd talk about girls. It was just like uh, my, my big brother of my father talking about my father. Within two years of their meeting, the old professor legally adopted his rising star. Their destiny had begun. Because always um, strived. He said, you can be the champ, even at a young age. Young age and I believe in him. I, I developed that kind of confidence in him. And we just made it, that was the destiny no matter whatever happened. And he um, discussed times that he wasn't feeling well and he doesn't think he's gonna be around. But he said, no matter what, the job must go on. Guided by the teachings of the master, Mike Tyson set about changing his life and in time, the entire boxing world. But you aim it here and bring the same hand when he hits here, he's got to bring it down. He's got his right bring it down. He's got to 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 bring it when you get hit, that's when you gotta be calm. You gotta be clever, you gotta be smart, and not get hit. And when you're able to do this, you're a fighter. As a fighter, Tyson first entered the amateur ranks. His impact was immediately felt. After a successful amateur career, Mike Tyson now stepped into the ring as a professional. It was a new game for the 18-year-old. He would be up against stronger, more mature competition. But he had trained for this moment, and he had learned his lessons well. As he had been taught, he was putting on a great show. But as his reputation grew, so did his impatience for bigger stakes. The results were now all too familiar to the men who faced him. He fought like a seasoned veteran stalking his opponents, choosing his punches well. He could mix it up, exchanging combinations, and then pick a target, punishing the body. And if they made the mistake of getting up for more, Launch a cannon to the head. Compact, quick, and incredibly powerful, he fine-tuned his knockout punch.
his confidence soared. With Custom Motto's guidance, Mike had gained the respect of the public and his peers. In the ring, he had conquered his fear. But now there was an even greater challenge. And this time, he had to face it alone. On November 4th, 1985, just three days after Mike Tyson knocked out his 11th straight professional opponent, Customato died of pneumonia. Though the master was gone, his voice still echoed in the gym he called home. Your mind is not in your way. There's something distracting you. And remember, it's always good to throw the punch where you could hit him and he can't hit you. That's what the science of boxing is all about. The master instilled in the student his experiences and thoughts to carry him through his journey. Words were his tools. Words that are still very much alive today. You know what I like about It's about the coward and the hero. That both of them feel the same. It's what they do that makes it different. In other words, the hero feels different than fighting the coward. But it's just that the coward, he runs. Instead of the hero, he feels the same. And he has the discipline and he just makes himself go through whatever has to be done. It's what he does that makes him a hero. And what the other fellow doesn't do that makes him a coward. It was D'Amato's philosophy to build will rather than skill. With Mike, he had succeeded. He had bred in Tyson the heart of a champion, a heart that had other feelings as well. It really, really is difficult because I did miss him a lot. And, but even besides, before when cuddling around, I was always there, but I used to always keep things to myself. I always kept things to myself. But it's just that I let some things out, I spoke to him about some things that were on my mind. But when things going on right now, I, used to, I don't talk to anyone about it. If Cus was around, he would tell me things. And he would explain this is what I would do. And so I would tell him, yes, but just don't worry about it, because everything's going to be all right. And he knew not to worry about it. There's no way we could fail. We must succeed. Determined not to fail the memory of his beloved tutor, Mike returned to the ring with a vengeance immediately setting a course on